Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. It's me, John Park, and it's time for JP's product pick of the week. We are here, and I am so excited about uh, today's product pick, particularly because it has something to do with cereal, and I love cereal. What? Not, not that kind of cereal? Hmm. Well, let's try to get excited about it anyway, shall we? Uh, so... Let's see, first thing I wanna do is tell you where to go if you wanna watch the show inside of the product page and get yourself a big, enormous, crunchalicious uh, discount on this week's product pick. It's right here, uh, Adafruit Product ID 5335. Uh, and you can also use the URL shortener for things like that, adafruit.it slash 5335 will take you right there as well. Uh, you can also use this QR code if you want. If you want to point a camera at that, that'll uh, that'll get you what you need. And uh, if you head over there, you should see that uh, if you refresh the page, the price has been cut in half. It's 50% off just during this show. So we're going to talk about the product, do a little bit of a demo, and you will have a chance to order uh, up to 10 of them, depending on your needs. You, you could potentially need 10 of these. Uh, but before I get ahead of myself... Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I think I have a, I have a issue here, which is, I don't think I have that proper movie queued up to show you. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a little, um, shenanigans here. So just read a book for a moment while I fix this video, because I'm going to click on one and it's going to be the wrong one. I'm going to try to try to pause it and, uh, and bring in the, the proper one. So sorry about that. I just saw that it got screwy. Hold on one second We have second a here. new Stemma QT board. This is an arcade, LED arcade Stemma QT um, breakout, which lets you... No, it's not. It's not that one at all. Uh, so hang on. We've got this here. Uh, where'd you go? Media files. This is how you know that this show is live. Uh, is that it? That is it. Okay, here we go. Get ready. We're so close. I'm going to scale that up. Tell it not to loop. All right. Take it away, Lady Ada. Um, CP2102 friend. This is an update basically for our CP2104 friend, which is an update of our FTDI friend. Basically, it's a USB to serial converter chip on a breakout with all the pins on the side broken out and then on the end is like an FTDI cable end. It's, it's basically this power ground data RTS and uh, CTS combo like six pin connector that's often used in dev boards that need a USB serial converter and maybe have a couple control lines but don't have that built in. So the CP2102N is the next generation after CP2104. And um, we love the CP2104. It's a wonderful two megabit per second USB serial converter from Scilabs. We use it in dozens of boards. However, I know you're about to hear is we can't really get any more CP2104s. They're um, proving very difficult to find in the shortage, um, but we have been able to get CP2102s. And so they're almost, but not quite pin compatible. Um, and for that reason, we wanted to start with making a breakout because this is USB-C. Um, one thing that's different is that it does have um, up to three megabit per second, not two megabit per second. So it can go a little bit faster than the CP2104. Um, the onboard EEPROM can be reprogrammed, uh, whereas on the CP2104, it's a one-time programmable. So there, there is a purpose for having two different breakouts for this board, but basically we're kind of trying to get this out to um, have an option for people who can't get the CP2104 and also to um, experiment with this chip before we do a swap out of all of our other breakout boards from the four to the two. That said, it's a perfectly fine FTDI uh, replacement and it's got USB-C, uh, RX and TX LEDs. It's got all the pins broken out. So if you need all those, you know, weirdo um, uh, modem control lines like ring or um, DTR or, uh, uh, let's see what else, DCD, you know, you need those pins, this breakout has them. So it comes with um, the assembled board and then you get some right angle header and some male header. For, if you want it to act like an FTDI friend, and this is like the old style FTDI friend, um, you can solder the header into it and now you're like, hey, it's like little sister and big sister, has a micro USB connector and is otherwise 
um, about the same size, a little bit smaller because the chip is so much smaller compared to um, this one. It has the RX and TX LEDs down here instead of on the side, but the pinout is the same. You can interchangeably use them. So this is it plugged into a Pro Trinket. So yeah, we've tested this with, we actually use the CP2104 on um, a bunch of boards. So it's like, it is like a rock solid chip. And uh, so we'll be slowly moving away from FTDI and replacing um, those chips with Scilabs because we, it allows us to drop the price on from stuff. one friend to another friend. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. We All still right. like FTDI. We just uh, want to try another friend for a little bit. It's not you, it's us. Yeah, okay. Hey, there we go. Uh, so yes, that is it. Now, what I'm gonna do, uh, and I hope you realize that I had to uh, cut in a second demo there, which was from the previous board, but they work identically for, for all intents and purposes. You can use this the same way the 2104 worked, but uh, we didn't have a demo uh, of, of Lady Ada using that one, but I will do a live demo for you. Uh, but first thing I've gotta do is I gotta grab one from my mystery bowl. So, uh, as you can see here, I have my, my mystery bowl for the USB serial converter. Check it out. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's the product pick of the week right there. It is the CP2102N Friend. It's a USB to serial breakout conversion board. It's got USB-C on it. It has, it comes with, in fact, the right angle header so you can use it just like an FTDI cable. Uh, this one can be soldered onto the end of it and you can plug it right in. Uh, and you can also plug it into a breadboard or an, a perf board if you want to use the broken out pins on the sides. So I'm gonna show you two demos of how that works. And uh, I will also give a uh, bonus point to anyone who can identify that serial. Hint, this is a little bit old. I don't think you can get a fresh box of this right now. Uh, does anyone know? We had to get a bunch of those for, our, uh, for a holiday thing. Uh, so let's, Grab a little demo here. So I had uh, I had a couple demo choices for this, and I decided to go with both of them. Why not? Uh, so Lady Ada said, "Hey, if you're feeling ambitious, why don't you build a breadboard Arduino?" And this is the first time I've ever done this. This was a popular thing to do back in some of the earlier Arduino days around the era of the Due Milanova and the Dieci Mille. And what this is is an AVR chip, it's the, in this case, it's the Atmel 328P. You could also do this with the uh, 168. Those were both uh, pretty typical. And then you build a uh, circuit for power to get the, I think, what do we want? Five volts on here. Uh, it'll bring in anywhere from, I think, seven to 12, but we get a, a clean five out of there. It might be 3.3, I can't remember. Uh, and then we have a crystal for the, uh, for the oscillator, crystal oscillator for, for timing couple capacitors uh, to help that smooth that out. And then I've put on here a uh, status LED for power as well as a LED that's plugged into pin 13. It's not pin 13 on that chip, but it's essentially what Arduino would call pin 13. And uh, in order to program this, I can use my little CP2102N friend. And this is plugged in, as you can see here, over USB-C. And then I'm using the pins broken out uh, for transmit and receive, TXRX, and ground. That's all I have to connect to the Arduino. And then I also have a little reset pin on here. So what I'm gonna do to demo this is bring up a uh, Arduino session here. And what you can see is I've got a basic blink sketch here. And if I turn on power, which is just a battery pack going to that uh, breadboard Arduino, you can see it's blinking this red LED uh, at a certain rate. Here it's a quarter second on, half a second off. If I want to change that, let's, uh, let's make this just a, a typical one second and one second. When I go to upload this, I have Arduino configured to uh, essentially think it's sending out to a uh, due Milanove, but it's actually sending USB to my little uh, friend here, my little CP2102N friend, which is then sending over serial to uh, the chip here to, to program it. So I'll hit upload in Arduino, and then I'll hit reset once it starts to upload, that helps it. And you'll see it very quickly flashes the board. 
it's already done. And now my LED is blinking at that sort of one second rate. Um, and here you can see it's, uh, it's got some, some verbose output here to let you know. Uh, it programs it really fast and it programs it really reliably. Uh, one of the nice things when you are programming boards that had built in uh, USB to uh, FTDI conversion chips like some of the, some of the Arduinos is they could be a little flaky to, to get them to upload. Particularly, um, I had, I remember a lot of difficulties programming the Pro Trinket. The Pro Trinket, I can't remember if you could even do it over USB. I think you could, but it was way more reliable to do over what they called uh, at the time the FTDI. So in fact, if I want to use this board to program a Pro Trinket, I'll show you how you do that. This is a, a pretty typical thing to run into. So here you can see I have a Pro Trinket and I have soldered a, uh, a little right angle header set onto it for uh, interfacing with an FTDI cable. And really it's the transmit, receive, power, uh, and ground that, that we care about on here. There's also reset uh, that's on there that, that helps it. Uh, you don't have to press reset on this board. So if I take my little FTDI friend here and I'm gonna carefully pry that up off of this breadboard Arduino. There we go. A challenge sometimes to not bend pins when you do that. Uh, now we can plug in, and I think I've got those right. Uh, ground is like that. Okay, I had it wrong. So what I'm gonna do is give power to the trinket. And that's actually using a micro USB. I don't know if that's a blink pattern that's running or a pulse. It might think that it's being uh, programmed. So now I'll plug in my friend, CP2102 friend. And then in Arduino, what I have to do real quick is tell it that I'm not programming a Dua Milanova anymore. So I'm going to pick from a list that you cannot see, uh, but I'll pick from Adafruit boards. And there's an option for Pro Trinket, 5 volts, FTDI rather than USB. Uh, and then I'll pick my serial port. And now I'm going to just hit upload. It's recompiling. And that's it. It finished uploading. So now we have a little one second blink going on there. Uh, if I just undo those changes, now it'll be a fast blink. So let's re-upload. You can see it's doing the automatic reset. I'm not having to time any little clicks on there, which is great. Uh, and... Did it finish? Did I get it? I might have to reselect the uh, serial out. Done uploading. Okay. There we go. Now the, there is the flash, the fast blink. Um, so there are also other chips that you might want to program with this uh, ESP32 and ESP8266 boards often can be most easily programmed with the serial, the UART, uh, USB to, to serial like this board. Uh, as well as there are some things like router hacking. Uh, there are the WRT, OpenWRT routers uh, that you can program over serial and upload uh, open firmwares like OpenWRT. And there's probably a lot of other uses that you can find out there. So, uh, oh, I'm just checking the comments and someone said that YouTube is having an issue, huh? Oh, now it's back, huh? Well, thank you in the comments for, for mentioning that Twitch was working. I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, I'm checking our Discord if you're wondering where I'm checking. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Cedar, Cedar Grove popped into the YouTube chat to let people know that uh, things are working over on, uh, over on Twitch. Sorry about that. Did I disappear? Oh, I'm so sad. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Hopefully... There'll be a version of this. I didn't record it locally. Hopefully there'll be a version of this that I can use to, to re-edit my, um, my little one minute version of this uh, later. So uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to check. Otherwise I'll make a, uh, I'll make a special, special short version of it. Uh, let's see, any questions in the chat? Let me know. I can, uh, if I head over to, let me, uh, I'll fix one more thing here and go to the, Chrome tab, one second. Technical difficulties, stand by. And there we go. Uh, so if you check it out here, here is our CP2102 and friend. 
Uh, I'll hit refresh on that. We should see the, the price drop on there uh, when it refreshes. Ooh, that's not wanting a refresh. Are we just having general uh, internet difficulties? There it goes. Uh, yeah, so $2.98 on sale. You can get a maximum of 10 per customer if you head over there to check that out. If you look uh, here, there's a bunch of information about it right here on the uh, product page. And if you scroll down, we have uh, some technical details, uh, spec sheets. And then you can also head to the uh, learn guides. And if you, I think if you look under CP2104, you should see a learn guide. Let's check that out. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna verify where that is. Works basically the same as that and, and pretty similar uh, to the FTDI friend as well. CP2104. Uh, and yeah, it shows up in a bunch of guides. I don't know if it has its own guide, but in, in any of our guides where we're programming uh, over FTDI, you can, you can swap in. Uh, it's pin compatible, so it's not a lot to it. Uh, Cedar Grove says, as soon as I mentioned Twitch, YouTube started working. Yay. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, all right. So that is going to do it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Remember, if you want to go ahead and pick one of those up uh, at a discount, do it right now during the show. There's no coupon code. It's just uh, at that slashed 50% off price until the show ends. You have a little bit of a grace period, but not much of one. So if you've, if you've filled up your cart uh, with, with these uh, converters and you're ready to go, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'll go ahead and unplug this and let's put a little hanger on there before we finish up, so I can put that up on the board. There we are. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. The product pick of the week is the CP2102N Friend USB to Serial Converter. For Aida Fruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>